Be really streaky in the before and after. Now regret it. You ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kelty O'Connor and welcome to my channel. On today's episode, I'm taking my friend Bev. Are you naked? Hello! Ooh, ne <laughs> She's never done a self-tan routine before. And I do get a lot of questions. If you guys are new here, you'll notice I'm tan. Now, if you've been here for a while, you notice I'm usually always tan. Kind of my thing. Every girl has their one beauty thing they can't be without. And I like to tan. And I used to be really bad and I used to use those awful tanning beds with awful for your skin, the cancer thing. So I stopped doing that a long time ago. I do tan from the sun in the summertime, but I now tan from a bottle. We're gonna use these tools and become bronze goddesses. Bev has never done this, so I'm gonna teach her like I'd be teaching you guys. So it's like you're here with us. The three best friends that anybody could have. Learning how to use self-tanner and whatever shenanigans we get into. So let's go get bronzed. Let's do it! Woo! <laughs> Do you want to stop at Starbucks and get a coffee? I brought my. I'm down. She's so excited. So excited. <laughs> the different options. So I like St. Tropez. This is my favorite. It's a bit more expensive. There is other brands you can get, but. This is again. They have um, advertisements warning you uh, about what people sneezing on you. I don't know. Christmas. It's an epidemic here. St. Tropez is my favorite. It's the most cliche one you can kind of find. So that's why we're going to do it. Different products. This is going to be your basic one. You're just starting off. First time, this is going to be like light sun kiss. It's a bit orangey, that's why I don't really like it. Here's the one I usually get, which is the darker one. You're gonna be really dark. It's a bit olive tone underneath, so some people look green. You can also get the lotion. I don't like the lotion, you get streaked. The mist is really good, but I find you only get three uses and it's empty versus the mousse lasts forever. I've tried these in the in shower. I found it didn't work. A gradual tanner into your face. Anyone tried this new product I've seen? I'm so tempted. Go grab peanut butter. Go on. This is the new one. The only difference is there's no guard on it and it's clear, so it's not supposed to get on your clothes or bed sheets, which would be really nice because that's the worst. That's why you have dark bed sheets. This is the one I will be using, but it's their newer one, and I find it's just a lot darker and you don't have to build. For this one, if I want to get that, my ideal one, I use it like twice or three times before I'm actually really, really dark without the guard. This one, I find I only need to do it once, and in the morning, I'm already way dark. You're going to be really dark when you use this, so it depends if you want that or not. Need a mitt. I always get theirs, it's like $8. They do break after a while, which sucks, but they're only eight bucks. Tis, tis what you gotta deal with. There's a sheet mask for your face. You wanna put it on your face? I never, and then they do have an advanced one, which I've never tried either. And those are kind of what they have for your office. My fave right now, this bad boy. And then, actually I think Bev got that one. How happy are you? This thing is nine bucks. Oh. Nine dollars. As, as she gets her, but you spend how much? What's, what's the beverage? You, Starbucks, you got? You'll spend how much on a latte though? I better be gorgeous. Gorgeous. You'll be a Victoria's Secret model in like 30 seconds. Bev had a great question. She was very concerned about her face. I'm not, now, not concerned. She's concerned, but she was like, concerned. my face, my face. If you ever see me without makeup, my face does not match my body ever. <laughs> and most people that use self tanner, it doesn't. It just, you don't tan your face. And here's why product on your face will either A, make you break out, or B, if you use any kind of acne treatment at night, it's just gonna wash it right off. So the only time it really works to put it on your face is if you're someone who just lightly washed their face, just used a light moisturizer, and know the crazy products, then it will stay on, and you can get products specifically for your face. But just wear bronzer. That's just, that's Whoa. life. You're already covered in stuff. Just you just need to put a little on your cheek. I hate wearing makeup. Oh, first world problems. Rosie opened up my mitt, which I'm mad about because this was like. How much was this? Too much Nine dollars. Too much money. I ruined your Christmas. Okay, first tip. Night before, what did I tell you to do? I exfoliated everything mm -hmm. with that pink mitt, and then I shaved everything, and then I got out of the shower, and I moisturized everything. And already, I was like, wow, this is a lot of work. This is what us girls have to do. I'm going to just give you, hold, hold the floor. Night before, or right before you tan, you're gonna exfoliate. I have like a dry brush you can use. Brush you know, everywhere, exfoliate, all that dead skin, gone. Brown sugar and olive oil. Exfoliate with that. I or those. Use. That works too. Feels like your skin's getting ripped off. It should. Pain is beauty, beauty is pain. Okay. Then right after, moisturize. I This is my favorite one, 48 Hours by Nivea. Uh, this is like milky. I have really, really dry skin. And so if you have dry skin, this is the most important thing. If you do not put moisturizer beforehand, you're gonna be so patched. Wait, was I supposed to put some on today? Here's it's fine. Like I probably should, because I always have dry skin. Um, but you know what, YOLO for the two. I don't, no one's got time for that. Okay, oh, I, just, I have to open this. You gotta open it close to the camera, unpackaging. Okay, here we go. So you take your glove. 
You take a bow. You shake it up? I actually don't think I ever shake it up, but uh, we're doing it now. It's gonna go full. And we're gonna start with our arm. And for our arm, I just do one to two squirts. So it'd be about this size. Mine look like yours. Looks like the poop emoji. I like to do. Should I take my necklace off? Yeah. Take all jewelry off. See, are you looking at my butt right now? I honestly don't even totally know where I was, was looking at. I was totally zoned out. She was looking at but my you know butt. Insert picture of her butt. Okay. Back at it. All right. Okay, so for the arms and all that, everyone's method's a bit different, but I like to go and do like one long streak in the front and on the back, and then we're gonna circular motion, rub it in like you're rubbing in moisturizer. So we're gonna go all oh, my the way My hair goes up. the other way. Huh? My hair goes the other way. Is that okay? It doesn't matter. That's just to like evenly distribute it. And then you're just gonna start going like this, and you're just gonna rub. I'm just gonna sit here, and we're just gonna rub it in. When I'm really lazy, I'll just stop right here, and I'll, it'll be really streaky in the morning, and I regret it. Especially, I shave off all my arm hair uh, before I tan. You don't have to. No, I'm not, I got my arm hair. Why did I say it like that? I have, I have the arm hair. My arm hair. How do I look here? Hey, everyone, come and see how good I look. Do I look okay? Bleep. 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 Yes, cut it, go. Until you can't, it doesn't really feel tacky anymore. Before and after. See the difference? Should I put a little bit more on? Because I feel like. And I so, know yeah, it. honestly, it just kind of, that's a good thing. Just like look at it. Like I know the back of my arm, it never really seems to get it. So if that happens, just put like a little. I know tanning like the back of my arm. Oh. <laughs> uh, tanning puns. Uh, I didn't know what that is. What's so good? Oh, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> look how much more Jack now you're going to look at this one. <laughs> Okay. How do I look? Do I look okay? Look good. Does this arm look okay? I'm Guys, good. I'm addicted. So then normally how I would do it is then just not TMI. I do my boob and neck area. So you would go around here and go up and go in there, but um, PG. And then for your neck, I just use like a little bit. And this can be really hard on camera, but this is the neck I always screw up. You're just gonna put a light amount and really, really circular motion. Otherwise you're gonna have a streaky neck. It's a, it's a disaster. So I go up to like just blow my chin and then make up from here up. And if you can see, because I'm using this really dark one, I am like a not attractive tan. I'm a too tan right now. <laughs> now we're gonna do stomach. I find stomach is like two to, th two to three pumps for stomach. And it's better just like start with a light amount and build. I just blot it and then start spinning. Go in so it doesn't look streaky. The belly button's a little tough. I kind of just like pat it in there at the end. You're gonna go up the side. I put too much on. If it does, like move, move it on your back. Like just rub it around to your sides. Onto your belly button. I'm just gonna kind of pat it in there. How do I look? Like, oh, you missed a little right there. If you're blessed to have a boyfriend or a friend, like Bev has me and a boyfriend, get them to do your back. Now, if you're live alone. <laughs> Like myself, you gotta get creative. I'm just gonna show you, but I'm gonna get Bev to actually do my back because no one ever gets to do my back. A little bit on your back like this. On and the back, on the back, the back of it. And you're gonna flip the mitt around so it's on the back of your hand now. I gotcha, like I gotcha. If you're a gymnast and flexible, benefit you, but I'm not really. So I literally just kind of go like this and then just kind of push it off to the side. <laughs> and then, and then just kind of, that's so sad. I know, this is single girl problem. Please help me, please help me, help me. All right. Rub it. Yeah. Rub it until it's like not tacky, I find, if that makes sense. Okay, so I think it's good. And then, should I do a little bit on the lower yeah. back? What I would do is I just take it and just go like this. Oh yeah, just kind of go like that. I do my back. Oh God! <laughs> make all the followers jealous. <laughs> Going for it out too. You guys have some meditating music. There's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a process. Being a girl is but, a process. I mean, sometimes at night I have like nothing to do. I'm just like watching TV with Adam. Honestly, the good thing is it gets me away from just doing mindless yeah, YouTube watching. Yeah, totally. Which is most, no, usually what ends up happening at yeah. 10 p.m. I'm doing nothing productive. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm like watching Gordon Ramsay videos on YouTube, on repeat, office bloopers. What are you doing with your life? But then also I'm usually watching Gordon Ramsay videos on YouTube while doing this. So, multitasking. Thanks, girl. I got you. White, look how white they look. <laughs> Oh, Gotta do my white legs. Oh, so it's gonna be the same idea that we did with our arms. I just like to go and do four lines personally. So I'll do one there, 
one there, one there, one on my back. Does it, it's not like perfect, just to spread it out. And then I just start rubbing again. And so the process continues. And then you'll want to make sure you exfoliate your knees so they're not, like they don't look bruised. Look how white my face looks! <gasps> I warned you! Calves, I do the exact same thing, but I just usually obviously just go kind of front and back. And then just start rubbing. And then I will show you how to do your feet and hands then. Look at them. Tan, not tan. So now we're gonna talk briefly, just gonna like a workout. <laughs> The hands, I find I just do them at the end. And you just want to make sure your hands are really moisturized. Otherwise, if they're dry, they're going to be patchy. And I just kind of... Should I go put the moisturizer on right now? Yeah, I have some right here. I just lightly go like so. And just kind of go on there. Go between like that. And then don't put it on this. You'll want to wash your hands right after if you get any on the palm of your hand. Because that just looks funny. So just a little bit? Yeah, just hands? like I don't even like put more on. I just use the excess. Oh, okay. And just like go like there. And then they'll just kind of naturally go on level. Because you know, like when you have overly tanned hands, it's like, mm, I see what you did there. For your feet, I find, especially in the winter, my feet aren't well kept care of. They're dry, they're patchy, they're hairy. Just you. But <laughs> so I find it's just better not to put it on my feet and just have white feet and have socks and boots always on, just a waste. In the summertime, hopefully you're getting like pedicures and that, and then you moisturize your feet like crazy. Otherwise, I'll just show you mine. They're not looking hot right now. They just end up looking kind of dirty when you put it on and your feet aren't looking good. This is gross. I'm so sorry to show the world this. So I say just don't do your feet in the wintertime. I just use the excess and I just rub it right on. I would just, I not even put more and I just, Kind of go like that, go between, and then I wipe off my fingernails right after. Toenails? Yeah, toenails and fingernails. Oh yeah. And now we're tan. <sighs> oh. Take your gloves and then wash them right after, either with just like regular body wash, sure. okay? or you can just rinse up. I just honestly just rinse it and let it dry. Just try and get as much of it out. It'll wash right off. Like this okay, wait. So rinse your glove after. Yeah, rinse okay. your glove right after and just let it dry until the next time you use it. And honestly, you can just keep reusing it until I find you only really get five uses out of it and then they start to rip. Mm -hmm. Unless you're really careful. Or until they no longer, you can get the color out. Like they'll be kind of stained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it gets more streaky. So wash it every time. And then the tan's going to build over the next few hours. And after four to eight hours, you can just wash it off. If you don't want to get super tan, wash it off earlier. If you want to get as tan as possible, sleep in it overnight. I sleep usually like eight hours and a shower in the morning. And then you're a bronze goddess. And moisturize. 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 Keep it. You want to moisturize as much as possible. And that will let your tan last for as long as possible. Because as soon as your skin gets patchy and dry, it will start peeling. It will just start to look gross. There's that. That is my self tan routine. How, how did you like your first time? Honestly, I feel good about it. It was like not as challenging as I thought it would be. So yeah, I feel good about it. You just kind of got to do it. I hate to say you'll learn. I was even saying you have like, I have my sternum sticks out a lot. My ribs are really bony. And so I find like I just had to find how to maneuver. Mm. And once you do, you know. So you just kind of got to learn your body. And then you want to tan tan. I use St. Tropez. I will throw some links down below if you are interested. And there's a lot of more affordable ones. I just find this is going to be the best one you can find. The affordable ones don't last as long. St. Tropez is popular because it's good. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing either. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to check out Bev's channel, feel free. I'll link it down below. If you have any other questions about self tanning, comment below. I'll answer. And if you have any requested videos, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Bye. Talk to you later. Give us a thanks up. Thumbs up if you want. I don't know. Bye.